I'm coming. Are we rolling? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Keep going. Oh, hello. I can hear someone behind me. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what the f***? found this guy. All right. Okay, hold on. Let me just see if I can guess where the table is. Is there a table? Oh, 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 That's it. Uh, hi, I'm Rob Chapman. Hi, I'm the captain. I'm sensing like there's an afro guy to the side of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just here. I'm Rabia. Ah, there he is. <laughs> you just hit my move. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, if so you want to touch mine, it's fine. We've blindfolded up uh, for absolutely <laughs> no other reason uh, than to be handed eight guitars. And we don't know anything about these guitars other than they are signature guitars for various players. And it's a competition, basically, between Rob and I as to who can guess who the artist of each signature model is. Uh, and that's it, by blindfolded, Bonus. by just playing the guitars. Bonus points if you guess the colour. Yes. So, you, yes, well, <laughs> really? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> um, bonus points if you can play anything by the artist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fine. So are we ready? Do we understand the rules? Can we, what bits can we touch and what bits can't we touch of the guitars? Keep touching to a minimum. Okay. Please. Yeah. Look, it's like, yeah. So it's all about the tone. Yeah. So all we right. just, what, we can hold the neck, but we can't. Yeah. Cause there's I mean, gonna be, be, I'll turn you up. I guess there's going to be loads of giveaways. If you know it's like a Steve Vai guitar, it's going to have the monkey grip and all that kind of stuff. So if we start, I guess you're right. We've just got to do it from the, this is going to be so impossible. Just from the feel of the, like the neck and the sound. That's yeah. it, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to get any right. Okay. okay. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. All oh, right. <laughs> just checking. It sounds like it's tuned really low. I've got, I've got to be honest with you, without the ability to touch anything on this guitar, every single one of my guesses is going to be a complete guess. But it's tuned so, low, so we, so it's got a fat it, neck. In this case, you could probably toss it and not know what it is anyway. <laughs> yeah, have a, have a little feel. So I can, I'm, alla I'm allowed to feel, am I? You can I? cop a feel. Okay, I'm yeah, copping a feel. You can cop a feel. David it. I can just, uh, all I can hear is beer just laughing to the side of it. It's just a feeble feeling going on. Yeah. <laughs> his, his hands are <laughs> really light. Touch. Yeah, it's really light. <laughs> light touch and it's slowly <laughs> moving over the machine. <laughs> the bridge pickup. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to hand it to Rob uh, whilst I consider what it might be. Let me tell you. I wonder if this would be more fun if Rob and I collaborated as to who it was. Can you sharpen that A string? Old Sharpie McKay string. Yeah, game me. Can you put it on the uh, bridge? It is a bridge. Something about this pickup, I know, I know it. That's interesting because when you passed it to me, I will admit that I, f I, f I felt that it was a bolt-on. Yeah. Well, no, you're allowed to feel. You can go, oh. go for the feel. All right. But, but, on the, this but the neck model, feels it. like it's uh, a thick old Les Paul it's neck. Massive neck, bolt-on. Uh, here, here, here's the thing, and I, and I could be completely wrong, but I don't reckon I am. This pickup 
Um, sounds like a pickup that I played for a long time in my old SIGs. It's got a bark to it that is, it's like a powerful, it's, it's like uh, oh. the ML3RC. But the problem is, that doesn't help me at all. You're saying it's a hot rail pickup then? Yeah. I think you and I have got to collaborate on this. It'll make for a more interesting video and, and hopefully. So, so now here's go. the problem. So, okay, so here's stock. what I'm telling you. It's, uh, sorry, it's big a neck. big neck. It's a bolt on. I think it's got that kind of, it's either that or it's a humbucker with those characteristics. Yeah, well, it's got it's got six aside headstock. So like, you know, a traditional Fendery style it's got headstock. Strings. Uh, yeah, not six. Well, six down one side. Yeah, uh, I don't know which. It was a bolt-on T-style guitar. Oh, it's T-style. Well, I think so. I think it's only got one. Well, then there's away. only one person it can be. Who's that then? Richie Cotson. Ah, uh, could be. Name one other well, artist I was gonna say it's, that it, plays it's a Telecaster the, with, with a I was heavy. I going to say it could have been the, the ESP Ronnie Wood. Um, no, because the ESP Ronnie Wood has got a thinner neck because I played it. Has it? Oh, this the Richie got, Cotson, that's a shout. This has got a jumbo that neck on it. That is a shout. Uh, uh, so I, I thought you said that this was a competition, Lee. I, I can't decide. As we walk up the stairs, he goes, Let, let's make this a competition, Rob. You know, don't, um, let's not do this together. I just let's... thought if we talked more, because if, if we make it a competition, none of us will want to give anything away while we're talking, whereas if we collaborate. Well, look, you By know the way, what? I swear... On my child's life, I haven't touched the pickups or anything that would tell me. I tell what you it is. what, you if if it's Richie Cotson, and I think that's a good shout, you can win the point on that one because you you said it first. Right. Um, but I can't but think. I, of I'm it only better. saying that because it's the only artist I know that w w that a has a telly. And is it definitely single coil pickups on there? Do you think? If you just go to, does it no, the hum? bridge? The bridge is definitely a humbucker. Because listen to it. I am a humbucker. And then put it on the neck. I can't, am I allowed to do that? Yeah, you're allowed to feel, you're allowed to cop a feel. Uh, so confused. Where's the switch? Is it where a Telecaster switch would be? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, that's a... Yeah, there you go, it's a, it's, a, it's absolutely a Richie Cotson. It's where, the, so it's regular telly switch and all that kind of stuff. Yep. It's got on? it's got a belly cut though. Has the Cotson got a belly cut on the telly? Well, he hasn't got a belly, so he doesn't need that, does he? Oh, now I've dropped the plectrum. Uh, should, we, should we move on? All uh, right. Well, we've got a name. We've got a name yeah. one. I actually, I do you know what? Let's go competition, and I'm not going to go Cotson. So you go Cotson. What are you going to say it is then? Good luck finding another artist that plays a T-type. Uh, oh, I, I I'm going to go Ronnie Wood CSP. Uh, that LTD model. But is ES, the ESP has twin humbuckers, doesn't it? No. Oh. Oh, sh No. It really? I can't remember. I think it's got a humbucker at the neck and a, and a thing. I can't remember, but that's what I'm going for. Oh, I'm So fine. anyway, so Cotson for Rob and uh, Ronnie Wood for me. So Just the, for the viewers to know, when I'm clasping this note in my hand, to make sure I've got the hole facing my mouth, I have to like tongue it <laughs> to try and find the hole. Then I can drink, otherwise it'd be really embarrassing. Powerful sounding guitar. Another big neck, wide neck. Am I allowed to feel anything on this or not? No. No, okay, so no feeling, just the neck. Oh man, <laughs> this, this is impossible, this is... Okay, can you Rich. give me some different tones? Yeah. I'm trying to literally cop a bit of a feel with my forearm here just to sort of get some sort of... Ooh. Try this one. <laughs> What's that? That was Middle really position. boosted. Yeah. That is an insane amount of extra. Okay, wait, one sec, one sec, one sec. Let me just mess around a little bit. Try this. Right, 
it's big neck. It's a sort of satin. You have to guess before you pass it. finish. It's Red Bull made my voice uh, cringe. I'm doing this mainly from the amount of tones that we got out of it and stuff. I'm it. saying it's a John Petrucci model. Right. <laughs> like a majesty. I mean, that would be really easy to feel it, <laughs> feel it wouldn't it? I don't know. I'm just, I'm making it all up. Wow. It's a weird scale length, or it feels like it's a weird scale length. Can I, can I have some go? Yeah. <clears throat> Give it some go. <laughs> I know, uh, this was a really good idea for a video before it actually started. Uh, <laughs> do you want to take it out of your hands now? Wait, wait, wait. Am I allowed to, what am I allowed to feel? The neck. <laughs> Just the neck. Okay, well... It's impossible. Okay, so I'm going to concur that it's definitely a music man because the neck is completely unfamiliar to me. But I have no idea which artist, and they've got more than John Petrucci on their artist roster, so I... Can I just say I don't know? <laughs> No. Can I say it's a music man? No. Uh, shall I give you some artists and you can pick from one? Yes. Okay. Steve Lukather, Albert Lee, Steve it's Morse, Steve James Lukather. Valentine. Oh, wait, wait. Steve Morse. Uh, uh, St. Vincent. No, no, no. It's not uh, St. Vincent. Oh, okay. It's, 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 uh, let's say it's the... Let's say it's the, the, the Lukather. Fine. I like him. He's a great player. Funny guy. He's a brilliant player. Great tone. I think the neck was too wide to be a Lukather, but hey... You might be right. I don't know. I'll find out when I'm early ball next week. This is this is without doubt the biggest shot in the dark blindfold challenge ever. <laughs> it, it is very very challenging. Put it that way. Oh, oh! Can I feel? The, can I feel the weight of the guitar? Is that allowable? Yeah, yeah. Medium. Oh, the the A chord's slightly further away than on the other ones. It's bright, isn't it? So, so it's, it's a strat. It's a strat style. It's a strat, yeah. yeah. It's a bit out of tune. Do you, want to, do you want to just... Did you see that? That's, that's what G-Force should have been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's honky. Okay. I don't know if I like that. I'm, I'm, it's definitely stratty sounding and it's got a very, very shiny fretboard, like a, like a lackady kind of shiny fretboard, fretboard, which means... <coughs> clue, clue, <sighs> clue. Ah, oh, no, I... I... string it 
these pickups aren't like. Do you gain? Uh, is it on? Can you put it on the 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 net bridge bridge bridge? Mm -hmm. And then gain it. Yeah. Just want to hear it bright. <laughs> Put it on the one up in between it. Uh, Brit, uh, neck, a <laughs> uh, Brit, a uh, neck. <laughs> I really like it. It's a strat. I'm going with Eric Johnson. Eric Johnson? Yeah. Uh, Eric Johnson. Who else plays a strat? strat. So, <laughs> so I know that there's no Stevie Ray Vaughan signature strat. Mm. I know that. Uh, is that. Well, there was, I don't. Oh, yeah, no, but there there's is. not a recent there one. No, there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did they? they did. Yeah. Well, you, okay, he's not going to tell me if it's that. Yeah. So, so there's also Jimmy. There's also. Um, I don't know whether the Chili's got one recently. I'm gonna go, it's Jimi Hendrix. Okay. Because it's a Strat and he's one of my favorite guitar players. But honestly, it doesn't feel like, the neck doesn't feel like a Jimmy neck. No, and the, fret, I can't the think fretboard of was super shiny. It didn't feel like a rose with No, fretboard and I, I also can't think of any, you know who should get a signature Fender? Pete Philip, Philip Sace. <laughs> <clears throat> Philip Sace absolutely should. Yeah. What a player that yeah, guy man. is. Play he can up. play some guitar, that guy. He'd play. He'd play. He liked to do that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, this feels nice. Uh, something just fell out. This feels nice and sounds the best one so far. Oh. It's thick, isn't it? So, yeah, it's got really. I like it. I like it. Can we get some pickup Game? differences? Oh, no, just like another stratty kind of vibe. this nice feels nice got really satin woody kind of feeling back of the neck rolly edging it's quite dark sounding what's the is that just i think, I think it's quite you lee no it's not a les paul it's uh oh gosh i have no some game idea. yeah why not okay <laughs> This this is made to be gained. Yeah, I like I really like the sound of it. Yeah. It's really light. Uh, can, I, can I play up the top of the fretboard and give away what kind of neck joint it is? Am yeah. I allowed to do that? So I got loads of frets then. Oh, nice, nice, comfy carve away at the. Oh, terrible guitar playing. I'll give it back to you. Oh gosh. Okay. Hmm. Not 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 a Fender. Got a light. Oh wow. Okay, how long is this thing? You have to ask. <laughs> I got a really interesting observation for you. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna think I'm crazy. This string is dead. This string is half dead. These strings are alive. Which means in Anderton's, all the kids that have picked us up have been going on the top. 
Which means it's a rock heavy, like a, it's like a Schecter or a, an ESP or a Jackson or an Ibanez, that kind of a thing, yeah? And also the neck is a, f it's like wide and thin and it just goes on. It's like a Brazilian leg. <laughs> Gang me, please, sir. I'm enjoying the process yeah. of playing it. I don't know who the artist is. I think is. it's an Ibanez, though. I think it could be an Ibanez. You're saying Ibanez. I'm saying it's a... Uh, a Schecter. And I'm going with... Who's the dude from Periphery? The Bowen. What's his...? Jake Bowen. <laughs> Jake Bowen. I'm going, it's a Jake Bowen Ibanez. Rob, pick a Schecter artist. Oh, God. <laughs> uh... Oh, let me who's think of something. Who's Sig do you think it is? Because that's all it, that's what you've got to guess, is who's Sig is it? Um, You're going Sinister Gates if it's Schechter? No, it's not Nick Sinister. Johnston? No, it's not Nick Johnston. It's sick. Uh, no, who, who's the guy, long ginger hair, incredible shredder? Jeff Loomis. Jeff Loomis is who I'm going to say. Fine. Ooh. But it's just, I don't know. Passive pickups, though. Definitely I said that not. to see if anyone would laugh. Definitely not Jeff Loomis. Definitely it's not, not Jeff, Jeff Loomis, Loomis is no, it? That was, that was me getting one wrong. Yeah. Open your arms, Lee. Oh, hello. Open, oh, open cool. your... Oh, what the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this a 12-string or an 8-string? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> I need my plectrum. I'm not, I'm not copping a feel around the back. I'm just getting a plectrum. Hello. Oh, it's not even drop tuned. Right, lacquered, lacquered back of the neck, seven strings wide, play up here somewhere. Oh, through, God, it could okay, be anyone. Through neck. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. That's it for something. <laughs> uh, at least tell me the pick, like, you know, do me the neck pick up and then the bridge pick up and. This isn't helping, but do the neck one, do the bridge one. <laughs> it's just a huge neck, huge neck, seven strings through neck. Golly gosh, who plays one of those? Um, wow, it's like a rowing boat oar. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. He's got to be huge. Couldn't gain or not. Uh, yeah. What the
also the EMG pickups. So they did that compression thing when you hold a note, and I played EMGs for years. Can I, can you clean it out for me? And put it on the neck pickup, please. <laughs> Why is that funny? It's what you say to No. <laughs> can you clean it? <laughs> can you sharpen that? No! sake it's um it's an emg loaded massive it's got to be an esp there's no way it's not an esp so it's an emg loaded seven string esp so come on you, they, that's not the competition the competition is picking whose signature guitar is it uh. seven string <laughs> emg loaded i don't I can't even think who is a seven string emg Loaded guy. If it's ESP, it could be someone like Stephen Carpenter, but I think he's Fishman now rather than ESP uh, EMG. Uh, I I have no idea. I, I mean, I I just I just don't know. George Benson. No. <laughs> <laughs> that. Uh, but I'll tell you what though. That is the biggest guitar I've ever felt. It's a big guitar, isn't it? Do you know what? If I hadn't already said it was a, a John Petrucci Majesty, I might say it's a John Petrucci Majesty, but only because the back of the neck's all glossy, and it's a seven string. Uh, and it's got that. I, I have no idea. Well, in that case, in the absence of knowing anything, I am going to go with the Stephen Carpenter ESP. I can't remember the. I think it's called an SC7 or something like that. But that's what I'm saying. It's a total guess. Uh, James Hatfield. I don't know. I just made. A, I just <laughs> said an ESP artist. I have no idea. Oh. 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 Lacquered neck. Oh, okay. Impossible not to notice the unusual shape of this guitar because of where my. Uh... That's the cleanest this goes, is it? <laughs> Put it on a neck pickup with gain. neck pickup is it mm -hmm. it's really uh, sorry i meant the bridge pickup i totally meant the bridge oh so really noisy on the neck not so noisy on the bridge so what's gonna that's gonna be what humbucker at the bridge single coil at the neck maybe <laughs> without totally feeling everything it's got a sort of a explorer vibe going on Hmm, six strings obviously. I'll pass this one away and I just got to go through the data banks of what it could be. Mm. Mm. Sharpen that E string feel very nice. <laughs> I mean, it sounds better than it feels, but that way. Ow. 
<laughs> so someone with a, a sort of semi-affordable. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm go- I've got a good guess here. Well, do you want to guess first? I'm going the Epiphone Lee Malia Explorer. Right, that's what I'm guessing too. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. If I if that's right, I win that point. But well, and I, and I don't win that point because that was my guess as well. <laughs> you don't, because that's what I guess. <laughs> How do you know that? Anyway, that's my, and I'll tell you why. All I'm my... saying is it's an affordable signature model. Yeah. It did feel a bit like a Lester Paul, and but it's cheap. I'm basing that on the fact that it felt like an Explorer, and because the neck pickup was noisy and the bridge pickup was quiet, I'm oh, guessing it's... Oh, with the whole pickup they bury inside it. P90 in the neck, uh, humbucker at the bridge, pretty sure that's the Lee Malia right. uh, setup. But I uh, could be wrong. Could be wrong. That's what I think it is. Anyway, how many more we got to go? Two. Two? Okay, let's do this. Thank God for that, because this is so hard. It's really hard. Okay, this is this is quite nice and light, sort of not too... It's... Uh, oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Very bright. But still feels like it sounds like a humbucker That's or something. Strat. Can, what's that? The neck pickup? Mm-hmm. Can we go to the bridge? <coughs> nice guitars. Put it back on the neck pickup. Good. Hmm. Mm. Okay, bolt on square neck join healy thing. Mm. Difficult. Feels feels like a lacquered neck to me. So I'm again very difficult when you're trying to do a what what fendery style guitars. I've got a lacquered neck. Mm. What about one of those... um... You know what I'm feeling for here, don't you? I'm trying to feel whether it's got a particularly curved radius on there, which might give away (laughs) one of the guitars that I might might be, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel terribly curved. I'm thinking it could be one of those... Don't know. Don't know. Uh, oh gosh. I think it's super stratty. It's not. It's not a strat strat. It's a super stratty. That absolutely sounded like a strat. Could be a Freeman. John Mayer. You think it's, it's the, you think uh, it's the it's Silver the Sky? Really? It's absolutely the PRS. It's, the, it's absolutely... A, I've never played it, but you feel it, you go, oh, it's just a PRS, isn't it? That's all it is. It's got to be the John Mayer. Because it sound, I thought it was a Strat when I heard you play, and then I thought, oh, no, it's a Freeman because it's got a lacquered neck mm. and it sounds like a Strat. But this is, this is the John Mayer thing that I've not played yet, and that's why they've given it to you, because it's funny. And that's why you were saying about the radius, isn't it? Yeah, but it didn't feel... It, to, for me, it feels... The back of the neck feels lacquered. It and is. It, and it feels like a relatively flat fretboard, which it, it, which isn't oh. what the... Oh. Is the mayor a lacquered neck? That's a good... Do you know what? I can't I, remember. So I've never seen it or played it, so I have so no the, idea. So the mayor is a, is a very vintage radius fretboard. Like Can you put it on the quarter. in-between tone, please, Rubia? Can you play Gravity and then we'll know for sure? Gravity! <laughs> um... No. <laughs> I'm not an educated blues player. But this is a strat. It sounds But good. it feels like a PRS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it has to be the John Mayer. That's, that's my decision. And I'm going to say it's blue. 
it definitely won't be blue. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say it's... <laughs> if it's I'm the silver sky, it's... it definitely won't be blue. Silver. Yeah, that's a good choice. Uh, I am going to controversially say I don't think it is that, and I have absolutely no idea, so I'm just going to have to pick something. I think it's more super straty. I'm going to go with... What about Friedman? I thought it was a No, there are no artist Friedman guitars, so oh, yeah, can't be one of those. Shout. I'm going to go with a... Oh, I can't even think of any. My mind's gone completely blank now. For a summer. Oh, come on, Anderson. Whisper it in my ear. Yeah. Uh, it's got to be some... I thought it felt more like... Mate, if you think it's the John Mayer as well, you can just say that. It's fine. <laughs> don't 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 feel like you can't have it because I thought of it. First. I thought it felt more super stratty, like a Jackson or something like that. But I can't think of any artists. What a super strat they... Jackson with single coils. Yeah, it did have single coils, didn't it? So it won't be that. So the only option okay, is... fine. Silver Sky. I don't think it is, but I'm saying it anyway. But you can have the point if that's what it is. I'm saying PRS Silver Sky. Last guitar, gentlemen. Oh, beefy. Is that just, is that the neck pickup? It's just really powerful. It's the back pickup. Is it? Can we have the neck one? <laughs> feels nice. See, this is a sort of a, a, a more matte finish neck. Uh, and that, is that, would you say, single coil at the, at the neck and humbucker at the bridge, though? I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to give away. <coughs> That's the bridge again, right? Beasel? It's no, not the bridge. It's the neck. Hey, I thought. We... So Wait. what was? <coughs> oh, we got coil taps going on or something here. Do you want gain? Sure. It's not going to help, but. <laughs> to play. Do Don't know. To clean or? Is that you? I'm going, to say, I'm going to say just because, is it a Rabir signature guitar? Just oh, good because, shout. Because we haven't had one and Rabir's probably picked one. So I don't, know, I don't know. I'm going with that. I'm going with the, the not the baritone, the non-baritone oh, signature. No, I wonder if one of them was mine. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 wow. It's a, uh, it's a really, really heavy, like, genty kind of bamba cam type thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's got quite thick strings on it, too. Is, is this the gain setting, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're on gain. Am um, there any more gains? Uh, do you want more gain? More go, just a bit more go. Okay. Oh. 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 
Is it on the bridge or the neck? It's on the br that's bridge. on the bridge. Okay. Take it to the bridge. Take it to the bridge. <laughs> like a PRS, doesn't sound like a PRS. Um, <clears throat> Decisions please, oh Mr. Rob, God. and then we can de-blindfold. Which one did you like best? Oh, Which one did I, I like? I can't even remember them. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to get out of the way. Right, come on I Rob, pick a name. I think it's a... I'm going to say it's PRS. Yep. And so I'm going to give you some, it could be a Mark Tremonti, a Carlos Santana, who else? Sign Obviously, a Silver Sky. Those are the only three signature ones I can think of. Aldi Miola. Don't know. Don't Periphery do a, a PRS? Dave Grissom. Don't think so. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do. Mark Holcomb has a PRS. Of course. Right, then it's that. Fine. Because it's the only thing I can think of. Course. Can we it's not the Tremonti. Unblindfold? Sure. Oh! I've got a really sick feeling in my stomach here that Rob's guessed half of these right. <laughs> As, as there is a Holcomb <laughs> and there is a Hendrick Strat and there is a Richie Cotson. Oh, oh, it was a Majesty. Right. So no, is that? That's uh, the Why Misha am I swearing Misha now? Like it's acceptable to do this on the video. Mi Misha Mansur Jackson, which we didn't say. <gasps> so do you want to do you want to reveal what the first guitar was? Okay, so I'm I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go down just from the top to the bottom. And I'll I'll pick them up as well. Did you pick up the Cotson telly? Oh, with my pickup. Yeah. So Rob obviously said it's a Cotson, and uh, Lee said it was the ESP. I did. You're right. I, I bailed and, and I just went for and the money. And what model wood, didn't I? Uh, bridge pickup is that? Just for it says it's a Demarcio, but it's a, a hot rail of some sort. Chopper, chopper T. Chopper. Yeah. So I had a chopper in the uh, in the in my that was in that uh, A team spinoff, wasn't it? <laughs> BA's B A S Baraka. B -A's no, I had a chopper in my first uh, ML one. Did you for about like, four years and did loads of tours with it. Um, well, this is a great guitar for a great guitar player. Wouldn't be the first time that uh, you've got your chopper out under a bridge, would it? So, <laughs> um, uh, right, the, uh, the mash. So I did so get you, that right. You got yeah, it right. Yeah, you got that right. What did I say it was? All right. Yeah. Do you know what? When you look at this guitar, you think it should feel a lot more unique and distinct than it actually did. I just it was hard to. But there you go. I guessed. Rob said it is the Jimi Hendrix Strat, and Lee said it was the Eric Johnson Strat. <laughs> How did you know? I don't know any of the Fender artists that have a signature model in your store. <laughs> but, the, but the Hendrix, apart from apart, Richie Cotson, the which Hendrix is Strat, with the exception of the custom shop one, was a Rosewood fretboard, which is why I didn't get that. Well, I, I couldn't could even feel the fretboard. Oh, I could. Uh, Damn it! That was, I mean, honestly. Oh, congratulations. That was. Uh, congratulations. Just, just a guess. Well so done. So that's one down Hendrix to pure, Strat, one, to pure luck. One nil to Rob. But um, it's not strong with eights and it's not upside down, so. so I don't know. Really However, know. love the Hendrix guys. Next. Uh, Misha, the Misha Mansell signature. Right. So neither of us. What did we say on this? I don't think any uh, of us got Rob this, said did we? The check to Jeff Loomis. Yeah. And you said uh, Jake Bowen, which is kind of cool because Jake's oh. in periphery. So. You so also can said I? Said it was really good. Yeah. Can I? You were you were yeah, the I liked best it. Best playing and best sounding one. The cheap. Yeah, probably, you did. Probably, yeah. <laughs> probably, the cheap, <laughs> probably the cheapest one here, isn't it? I think it probably is the cheapest one here. Really? Yeah. I'll give Lee half a point. Because this is just the Indonesian. Um, yeah, give me half a point because I need half yeah. a point because I just at least guessed the band right. I got a feeling I thought that one really suited you too. I thought it was a Les Paul I heard it. There you go, Misha. Uh, Sign me up. This one is the, uh, the Matt Heafy, the Snowfall. Well, neither of us got this, did we? <laughs> oh my God, it's the heaviest thing. Look how heavy that so is. so big. Matt uh, Heafy must be some sort of guns on that guy. Uh, it is like you could row a, a boat with this. And what did we guess? Um, Lee guessed the ESP Steph Carpenter. Yeah. Um, and Rob said Jen Tedford. Oh, just because I, don't, it's, I knew it was the MGs, but I didn't know any other. MGs as well, didn't yeah, it? Is, yeah. 
I didn't know any other artists. So should we that... give Rob half a point for that one because he guessed the pickups? You don't have to give me half a no, point. No, you can have half a point. I don't, need, I don't need mercy points. That was points. an obscure uh, a signature model, but well done. The Lee Malia. Yeah! You were right, yeah! yeah. You like one point! <laughs> Yeah, Lee gets this point. Although I did say it was an explorer and it's actually the RD, so I, I, I kind of didn't quite get it right, but it, I got it close enough, I think. And it was totally the, this was the giveaway. I've got a feeling B19. I slightly slagged this one off. I think you didn't like it very much, but that's all right. <laughs> Lee Malia, I'm sure, you know, will be basking in the millions of pounds he's made out of his band and not worried at all. I'm sorry, Lee. <laughs> Right, hello. So you both said Silver Sky, um, but it is marked down as Rob. It's Rob's win. Point. It's Rob's win because I couldn't remember whether it had a lacquered neck. How weird is that trust it recover? It, I don't know. Does he think it's weird? Or? Well, I've never seen this before, so for me it's just a bit strange. So Rob is 3 0 up. Mm-hmm. Well, I, hold on, I think we, I've basically got one right we, out of the whole Lee, thing. we haven't finished yet, so let's just, uh, let's just wait and see That's if right. I win. I'm in a tantrum know. already. <laughs> uh, fine. Uh, well, done. well done, Rob. Uh, well done, so why has this not got any numbers on it, but these have? So this is the one that, uh, this is Jess's Oh, one do you know, they, have they just worn the numbers off? Mm. Wow. That's the one that's been around. That, so that this is one's... The, that's the European kind of show model. That's the, in every single Silver Sky video that you've ever this seen This one is, so is relics already. It's been this actual guitar being it, uh, You know what? It's nice, isn't it? Well, you know. It's, it's, it is, let's it's not just go into strat, the strat, uh, strat, Silver Sky debate. Again. Next one. Um, obviously oh, it's just an SE. Rob said it was the PRS Holcomb, and Lee said it was the Chapman Revere signature. Tell you what, in all fairness to this guitar, it certainly didn't feel like an SE. <laughs> this feels really good. I mean, what my... <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's why. It's got Duncans in it. Yeah. Because I said, it feels like a PRS, doesn't sound like a PRS. And it's because it's got, what, they invaders? The Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega. Alpha Romeo. Right, they are like, they are action. They look great and they break down after about three miles. Right. (laughs) They're action packed full of go. Uh, But that really threw me because I felt it and was like, oh, it feels like a PRS. But it didn't sound like one. So it's interesting. The final scores are Rob with four and a half. And Lee with two. Oh, not as go. far apart as I thought it was. Congratulations, Rob. Oh! Yet again, you astound me with your I ability to guess what guitars myself. are. myself. Uh, with a blindfold on. But there we are. Happy days. Hope you enjoyed that. My next challenge is to do a challenge video that you can be involved in. Oh. So I was thinking we do something where ev- it's all so- like just a black screen the whole way through. <laughs> Well, no, something where we do like a video of pedals or something and, and you don't get to see what they are, but you don't get to see what they are either. Right. And then we get to the end and you can all uh, and lie in the comment section about it. If enough people right. join in and do this with us, Lee has promised to grow a beard. Did he? Absolutely. Uh, Matt, perhaps what we'll do is change this. We'll do that on the uh, sponsored version of the Anderton's <laughs> channel where I shall grow a beard simply for people that want to pay. Otherwise, um, I'm just I'm wizarding out on my own here. <laughs> There is no sponsored version of Anderson's yet. There is on Rob's channel. He, I'm sure he'd like to take the opportunity to, to plug it if he wanted to. All it is, is it's like a backstage pass to my YouTube channel. So if you want to see stupid photographs of uh, me and my buddy Lee and the guys here who, who we hang out and do silly things, but also I teach a guitar lesson, do live streams. It's just like, it's just a mega cheap way of me helping out people that want to do stupid things and see, see stuff. Rest in, not rest in peace, just peace. <laughs> <laughs> just peace. <laughs> <laughs> It's five dollars a month, and I know <laughs> can't use any of that. You can't use any of that. Anyway, <laughs> I've been the captain. <laughs> See you later, I'm Rob. See you later. Bye bye. Right. Hey everybody! Thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.